Beverly Hills is the capital of plastic surgery. It is the most competitive place on earth for a surgeon. It is the capital of beauty. Beverly Hills is a very small place. The top of the mountain is a very small place. For sporty days, nothing above 100,000. I told you. These are the top plastic surgeons on earth. Well, let's go down the roster. I'm Jason Diamond and I'm a board certified facial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. It's normal to be nervous. If you weren't nervous, I'd be worried about you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is perfect. Yeah, over the years, it's arguable that Robert and I worldwide are two of the most famous Beverly Hills plastic surgeons. We all look up to him. He doesn't know that. I love my craft. It's an art and a craft that I've honed, and so I'll take any opportunity to invite anybody into the operating room to watch. So we used to do this procedure open with a big cut. I love the work. It's so rewarding. I'm Dr. Kevin Sands. I'm a Beverly Hills cosmetic dentist. I've developed a reputation for creating the best smile in Hollywood. No question, Dr. Sands is the top, top dentist on earth. We have muscle man. Every group has a muscle man. <laughs> Why are you so strong? How much are you bench pressing? Don't lie to me. My name's Dr. Craig Deering. I'm the uh, hair transplant surgeon to the stars. So we harvested all the grass from the back one at a time using the robot. Desiree never stops working and he's become one of the most successful hair transplant doctors in the history of hair transplants. I probably keep more celebrity secrets than anybody in Hollywood. Some people like a little bit more recession. You wanted more of that straight across hairline. My patients don't want other people to know. I'm friends with a lot of celebrity patients in private. In public, nobody knows me. I, it's like I have the plague. No one wants to get around me just in case someone says, hey, maybe he had something done with him. My name is Dr. David Amron. I'm a Beverly Hills cosmetic surgeon. I specialize in liposuction surgery for 20 years. You know, I'm competitive. I want to be the best at what I do with things. I think that we're all that way with our work. We're all that way kind of outside of work too. I'm like the gayest looking one. That's for another thing I'm a teeth whitener. But there is no question, I'm the alpha dog. I'm wandering the desert with all my patients. Because I'm gonna be the flirtiest one. I'm gonna be the craziest one. I'm only gonna do it once, okay? Oh, forget it. My practice is the most famous plastic surgery practice in the history of medicine. I operate on queens and princesses. He's got a big personality, but he's still a surgeon, and when he gets down to surgery, like all of us, he takes that very seriously. Every little movement we're making here has a purpose. The wives are very, very good friends, like we're very good friends. Kevin's gonna be like, um, more body, can you be <laughs> naked? <laughs> but just like any family, sparks will fly. What the f is that? Outside of the operating rooms, we are very, very good friends. Brazilians can hug me in. We'll cry, we'll yell, we'll laugh. If you think you know reality television, you better put on your seatbelt. Perfect. This is the Celebrity Plastic Surgeons of Beverly Hills.